So in this video, we're going to discuss the basics of how to count significant figures, or also sometimes known as significant digits. Uh, same, same thing, different words, same concept. And essentially, significant figures or significant digits are a measure of the precision of some number, of some measurement. So in regions chemistry, you'll probably just answer specific questions about them on a regions test or maybe in a lab. If you're in more advanced chemistry, you pretty much always have to keep track of your significant figures when you're reporting an answer. So knowing this is very important for not only chemistry, but even all of science. Anything where you need to keep track of your uh, precision and rounding and all that stuff. So how do we count significant figures? Well, let's take a look at a map of the United States for a second, or at least a relatively awful map of the United States, but you get the idea. Wow, that's just beyond bad. I can't allow that to happen. Let's try this. Da -da -da. Okay. Alright, that's... Jeez, I have some issues here. Alright, this is just getting stupid. Alright, good enough. You get the point, right? Maine, Florida, Texas, California. Alright. Now, let's take a look at a number. 223.709. The question is, how many significant figures does it have? To figure that out, essentially we want to know boy, how many of these digits actually count. How many of these represent some actual meaningful level of precision? Well, here on our, take a look back at our US map for a second. Here on this left side is the Pacific Ocean, right? Here on the right side is the Atlantic Ocean. This is a way to remember how to count sig figs. I know this is weird, but stick with it. P stands for Pacific, but for the case of sig figs, it also stands for present. And this means when the decimal is present, so when there is a decimal in the number, start counting from the left side. And what you do is you count the first, you start counting from the first non-zero digit and then count the rest of the way through. So this is what I mean. For 23.709, we start counting here. Okay, we hit a non-zero digit, so we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs. So the answer here would be five sig figs. Let's take another number. Um, 0, 0.0 two, zero, zero. We start, we say, okay, we got a decimal, it's present, we start counting from the left. This is a zero, it doesn't count. This is a zero, it doesn't count. Aha, here's our first non-zero digit, so this is one. And then we count everything else to the right of it regardless of if it's a zero or not. So it would be one, two, three. So this would be three sig figs. How about 1.0007? Well, decimal is present, we count from the left. Here's our first non-zero digit, so one, two, three, four, and five. So that would be five. What about this A? Well, let's say you have a number like 239. There's no decimal here, so that means the decimal is absent. In that case, we count from the right, and the same thing applies. We count the first non-zero digit, and then we count everything else to the left, regardless of whether it's zero or not. So this one, we start counting from here, it would be one, two, three. So this would have three sig figs. How about 4,000? Well, we start counting from the left. It's got no decimal. So that's a zero, zero, zero. Here's our first non-zero digit. So this one only has one significant figure. Even though it has four numbers in it, it's a four-digit number, it's only got one significant figure. And think about it. If we measured, say, the number of feet from your house to the intersection, and we measured 4,000, what kind of precision is that? Can we say for sure that it's 4,000 exactly? Well, not with this number as written, because this, is, this seems to be only an approximation. Now, if we found it was 4,000 dot, well, that's going to be a little bit different. We'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, let's try 2,076.02. Well, we're present, so we start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, done. So it would be six sig figs. Uh, let's see if I can come up with anything else. Uh, 4,030. 30. Start counting from here. This is a zero digit, so no good. Here's our first non-zero digit, so it'll be one, two, three, three sig figs. And that is all there is to it. One little note. Here's a weird example. Let's say we have a number 4,000. Before we figured it out, it had one sig fig, right? Because you start from here and you count. These don't count, but this one does, so it's just one. What if the number were reported as 4,000.0? Well, this changes things. 
because now we start counting from the left because it's decimal, and there's actually one, two, three, four, five sig figs. Even weirder, if the number is reported as 4,000 dot, 4,000 decimal point, which is very weird to see, but it can happen, then it no longer has one because you're counting from the left. It has one, two, three, four sig figs. So that's just something to keep in mind as you are doing the sig fig stuff. And in some future videos, we're going to talk about how to add, subtract, and multiply and divide numbers when you're talking about sig figs.